Shalom. First off, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, your name, Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit is for comforts and guides us, especially during these perilous times to come. I also want to give a double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, teaching rule well with truth and sincerity, and peace and salutations to the elect. I saw this video. And through the spirit, I decided to, you know, do a lesson on it. Like I say, we filter things through the scriptures for the most part when we see things through our day to day life. And when I was listening to this video, the thing that came to my mind was ultimately that Andrew Tate is basically giving warning about women that was already written in the scriptures since the beginning. That's why we tell people that the Bible was the original, as they say, red pill. The Bible was the original so-called so red pill book, book. Because ultimately it gives us the guidance on what we should do in order to have a prosperous kingdom. And ultimately what will happen if we don't do the things that's pleasing in the sight of the Lord which would cause a kingdom to fail as we can see like it's written Job 9 and 24 the earth was given into the hands of the wicked which is a so called white man we see how they're ruling this this wicked queendom I should, call, I should say because they are not the Lord's people they're the devil that the Bible speaks of Esau Edom, the so-called white man, forefathers, like I said, it's Esau Edom. This is Satan's kingdom. Who's been, they're doing the being of Satan in the flesh. And that's why this world is going the way it's going now. Basically down the drain. But I'm going to play this video. And like I said, I'm going to just filter through the scriptures. Mm -hmm. I've always, when I was doing the podcast before this arrest, I was always saying haram, and I was always repulsed by these girls who were sexually promiscuous, etc. But now I find it truly repulsive because I see it as a, a, a danger sign. If a girl messages me on Instagram, I don't have Instagram, but let's say a girl messages one of the fan accounts or a girl sends me a love letter, I get lost by email. Yeah. She goes, look at my Insta, I miss you, you're the best man. Then I click on her Insta and there's, she's been to Saint Tropez, she's been to Dubai, she's been to Miami, she's been to wherever, she's been to Aspen, Colorado and Courcheval. She's flown all of these places. I just think all these men have flown you around and now you want me to buy you shit and fly you around and what if I stop buying you shit? I just, I just look at them and think, oh, nah, that's a, that's a police case. Yeah. And every single woman I look at who's not humble and respectful now, I just see as a police case waiting to happen. So I refuse to talk to women anymore because I'm like, no, you're all trouble. Mm. It's worse than just Haram. When he said that, the first scripture I thought of was Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 26. It says, for by means of a whorish woman a man is brought to a piece of bread and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life and as you can see basically he said it is dangerous dealing with a promiscuous woman where verse 25 says well verse 24 it says to keep thee from the evil woman from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman lest not after her beauty in thine heart Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. And we also understand that you can liken that to these false doctrines as well. The doctrines that's not taught from our elders and apostles, a great millstone on down to the men that teach the same doctrine. You can liken that strange woman to those false doctrines that some of these other camps are teaching, along with, you know, Christianity, etc. Islam, etc. But that's why it says in First John chapter 5 and verse 3, it said, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Because if you 
and follow the law, statute, and commandments that the Heavenly Father has set up, then things will be in perfect order. But like I said, that's why the world is going the way it's going now because the law, statute, and commandments are not being followed. But ultimately, we understand that the law, statute, and commandments were given unto the Israelites, which are the Lord's chosen people, which they consist of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners that look like heathen, but are not heathen because their father's seed line traces back to one of the 12 progenitors of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's written in my bio, but I'm going to grab one of the first five books of the lost. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. What does it say? It says, do not prostitute thy daughters to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. And we can see today, like I said, this wicked kingdom which is America, which is spiritually Egypt, Sodom, Babylon, the great the virgin daughter of Babylon, is full of wickedness. Like I said, that's why the Lord has to, the Heavenly Father has to send His only begotten Son, Yahweh, to destroy this kingdom. And it's going to be destroyed by fire, thermonuclear fire from them ICBM missiles that's going to be shot over here from by way of World War III, along with Yahweh Shah when he returns with the host of angels shooting laser beams out of the trays. But that's after you deliver the elect. I'm gonna continue on with the video. I'm now, you can destroy my life. And I think a woman who is genuinely humble and honest and tries to preserve her sanctimoniousness regarding sexual promiscuity is less likely to make these kind of attacks. I can't exactly tell you why that is, but I think we'd all agree. A girl who sleeps with less men is less likely to go and start chasing a man for money and making a big scandal and all this garbage. But these women who sleep with a bunch of men, they're fucking predators, bro. They they're are lost dangerous. They've their morals. They've lost their morality. They don't yeah. care about destroying your life because they have no link to you. There's no energy core between you and them. They're just fucking you for fucking. They're and demons, they bro. They're demons. So if you're a man now who's out here sleeping with girls who are promiscuous, you're not just making a mistake. And like you said, like we like we tell people that when a woman sleeps with multiple men, she got them different sperms up in her. That's different spirits from different men. And it causes her to not be able to pair bond. So it's hard for her to actually build true feelings for a man that she's dealing with. Because women were made to be with that one man until when they lose their virginity they supposed to be with that one man until that man dies and like he said a woman that's basically been with multiple men is basically like a danger cause like I said you don't you don't know you don't know what their motive is because for the most part they for their self. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 26. This is from King Solomon who was your, which was your how was shot during that time. Reincarnation. It says, and I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart which the heart is the mind is snares and nets, and her hand is bands. Whoso pleads of God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. So the sinner is going to ultimately be taken by a woman that's that's ultimately you know wicked. As you can, as you heard him say that, basically a humble woman is better, etc. Because we understand, like it says, a silent and loving woman is a is a gift. because they're promiscuous and they're not going to be a good partner. You're making a mistake because they can destroy your life. Mm. Promiscuity is now a genuine, it's more than a red flag. It's a landmine. 
Wow. I won't go anywhere near a promiscuous woman ever for the rest of my. I never want. I was never going to anyway because I'm high enough state, so I don't have to. But now when I see a woman who acts that way and thinks that way, bruv, no sir, there is no way you could convince me to go near a woman who's been with a bunch of men because I just see them as a, a court case waiting to happen. That's that's the world we now live in, especially when you have status and money. They want their bills paid, and you're gonna pay them, whether One they like another. it or not. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna pay it, and the government love it, bro. I, I have no scientific proof to back this up but i've come to the theory one of the reasons governments love this shit so much is let's say you're a very rich man and you're international and all your taxes are set up right and all your things are in order and everything's done you pay your taxes you do your thing whatever you get hit with some big case and you have to pay a million dollars a month in legal fees which trust me it's not that much because i'm paying it you're paying a million dollars a month in legal fees your lawyers are going to pay their tax 50 percent on the dock because they have to because they're part of the bar association and they have particular sp special bank accounts that can be monitored, et cetera. So the government just sits and goes, oh, cool, well, we can get $6 million out of him if he has a year of $1 million legal fees, it's 50% tax rate. So the government loves it. They get to extract resource, lawyers get rich, girl lies, nothing happens to her, she gets to fuck with your life. There's only one person who gets fucked. The man. You. Yep. Your lawyers are fine, the government's fine, she's fine. You are the one at the bottom of the pole getting fucked. And Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12 it said as for my people children are the oppressors like I say we can liken Esau Edom to a child the so called white man and woman rule over them oh my people they which led thee caused thee to err and to destroy the way of thy paths because ultimately the so called white man elites the ones that's in rulership they're the pimp and majority of these women are the whores so they allow you basically to use their whore for a while for a time being and then once you trying to you know once they got you on the hook whether it be children with with actual children or call it a, you get married to these women with this um Wicked with the wicked paperwork. That's why we tell our people that you shouldn't get married in a way according to Esau Edom, according to the scriptures. When you have sex, that's considered marriage, not that paperwork. But once you get married according to their system, you get a divorce. The woman take you for damn near half of everything, or more than what you what you have, etc. Like I said, the scriptures got the blueprint. Everyone paying for everybody. And you're paying for all of it. The, the judge being there, the lawyers being there. Oh, the courtroom, the big fancy courtroom, the oak mahogany walls, you're paying for everything. This is the biggest wealth transfer we've seen where women come into play as tools and pawns to attack rich men, take their money, and then go back to normal. Literally. And there's no consequences for them making these accusations. None. Like, if that's the crazy part. And if there's no consequences to anything in life, you're going to keep doing it, right? If there's no consequences to stealing, you're going to steal. If there's no... Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 11 it said because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil the NLT verse said when a crime is not punished quickly people feel it safe to do feel it, it is safe to do wrong so yeah so if these women feel like they're allowed to run around and sleep with this man that man and they don't receive no type of judgment for it they feel as though they're getting away with it but that's ultimately because they're allowed to get away with that type of nonsense because this kingdom but we understand that the lord the eyes of the lord is always watching so just because like it says it's not executed speedily that doesn't mean that the Lord isn't going to get you. I'm going to jump down to verse... I'm going to continue on in verse 12. It says, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh Shah, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before God. And we understand that 
for the most part, these women don't have faith and fear of the Lord. So they're going to do what their, what their master do, allows them to do, which is a so-called white man who is a proud man. Consequences to robbing houses. You're going to rob houses. I'm like, imagine you removed law. You'd see how quickly people will do bad and heinous things without consequence. The purge, the literally. Pur and we're telling women that it is now a purge on men without consequence, and you expect them not to do it. There's no consequence. So why wouldn't they do it? That's a basic general, that's a law of the universe that can be applied to both men and women. If they can act without consequence, they have no reason not to. For them, it's a two hour interview one afternoon at a police station. For you, it's four years of your fucking life. And that's why a lot of these women gonna get judged along with America. Like I said, America is that great whore written in Revelation the 17th chapter and also Nahum the third chapter. But I'm going to grab 1 Timothy 5 and 6. It says, But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Because the majority of these people, women live in pleasure, especially in this kingdom. And like I said, you can liken that to America. And I'm going to get... Um, I'm going to finish off in Nahum chapter 3, and I'm going to start at the top. It said, Woe to the bloody city. Like I said, that's America, talking about America. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. The noise of a whip and the noise of rattling of wheels and of prancing and of jumping chariots. World War Three. the horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear the missiles and there's a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses and there's none end of their corpse they stumble upon their corpse because of the multitude of the whoredom of the well-favored harlot which is america the mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations through her whoredom and families through her witchcraft behold i am against thee saith the lord of hosts and i will discover thy skirt upon thy face and i will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdom thy shame and I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vow and will set thee as a gazing stock. And as we can see, a lot of these these other um, countries are getting pissed off with America. And that's ultimately what's going to lead to the um, continuation of World War III because ultimately World War III is basically started. We just gotta wait for Yahabashim Al Shah to allow things to take its continue to take its course. But I mean through the spirit, like I said, I just was filtering that video through the scriptures. That's all I got. Shalom.